Fire Connect Resource Growing Healthy Churches Is in relationship for God's mission Well hi, I'm uh, Joth Hunt I'm one of the team at SCBA and I've got the privilege this afternoon to chat to Rachel, Rachel Gardner who's all the way up in Preston so it's remarkable how technology can connect people so many miles apart. You know Joth, I think the internet goes around the world, I've just discovered that, I mean this is amazing. Um, now you're, you're going you're gonna to be spending the 1st of July helping us think through some of these issues about young people right in this moment and you know I love the fact that you've kind of mentioned Covid and the impact that that's having on youth outreach and ministry and development of young people and so forth. Um, so I don't want to tie you down to anything too much now, but just give us a taster of some of the thoughts that uh, you might be bringing to just to kind of yeah. you know, draw us in. Oh, thank you. I'm so looking forward to being with you. And I'm really glad that the way we're doing it means that I might get to see some of your faces and get a little bit of chat going, because that, that means a lot to me. I, I struggle a bit when it's just me speaking to my face and then somebody out there at some point is <laughs> connecting. I want it to feel a little bit more real and immediate and um, to really serve you because God has called you. And God, I mean, you are God's particular favorite people, aren't you? Because you are le you're leading his beautiful church and loving his church. So I, I take very seriously my responsibility to give you good stuff and speak well into your hearts and to encourage you in this really difficult time but the first the first section i'd like us to just look at sort of four or five key reasons why emerging generations we're talking under 25s why it is not self-evident to them that the biblical narrative the kingdom of god that the, that the gospel is for them you know what, what is it that's in culture um what are the big stories the big themes the big monsters really in culture that we as leaders need to be aware of and then the second half is getting excited about um well actually what are the opportunities that are unique to this generation as we as church learn to pivot um is the new phrase isn't it um as we suddenly take church wholesale online like who'd have thought that that the church in the uk yeah. be able to do that but um, so, so what are some of the other things that we always thought we'd never be able to do, but we've just shown that we can? We'll be talking about the difference between what it looks like to adapt well and to innovate well. So adapting is, we didn't think we'd do it ever or yet, but we've had to. Innovate is, we don't have to do it, but we're going to do it. And somewhere in between those two, there's a sweet spot, isn't there, around actually seriously reaching emerging generations. A church will not naturally grow younger. If we want to reach emerging generations, if we want more diversity in our churches, it won't just happen because we want it to happen. We have to take steps to make that happen. So we'll be thinking about how do we skew younger? And in the last bit, it'll be a big old Q&A. And, um, and then I think, Joff, you've said that you're gonna send Deliveroo lunch to everybody that comes. <laughs> Is that the deal? Uh, yeah, if they get yeah, to that right. whole morning with me, they get free lunch. <laughs> Absolutely, of course, of course. Uh, I'm really inspired. I'm really looking forward to the day. And uh, wherever you are, whether you're a youth worker, speaker, uh, campaigner, pastor, I don't know, author, wherever you are, we're just looking forward with you inputting into that, our conversation. It's really, really helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Inspire, connect, resource, growing healthy churches is in relationship for God's mission.